more than six centuries after parts of the coastal village of Dunwich in Suffolk were lost to the sea, researchers are finding clues about just how devastating storms that hit the region really were. Sediment from the cliffs in the region has been analyzed by scientists who have confirmed a series of powerful storms hit the location during the 13th and 14th centuries. In particular, weather events in 1286 and 1326 are thought to have destroyed the village's harbor and without this vital source of food and trade, the village began to decline, both physically and economically. Present-day Dunwich is a village 14 miles, 22.5 kilometers, south of Lowestoft in Suffolk. It was once a thriving port similar in size to 14th century London until coastal erosion left it 33 feet, 10 meters, underwater. It now lies collapsed and in ruins in a watery grave just off the present coastline. As a result, it has been dubbed Britain's Atlantis. The project to survey the underwater ruins began in 2008. In 2013, a team from the University of Southampton used advanced 3D scanning to reveal the port town of Dunwich. The project, led by Professor David Sear, produced the most accurate map to date of the town's streets, boundaries, and major buildings, and revealed new ruins on the seabed. Now, the same researchers have found evidence for the violent storms. Sediment from the cliffs independently confirmed the sequences of storms recorded in the historical record, Professor Sear told the BBC. While pollen analysis revealed how people gave up on Dunwich after 1338, when another great storm silted up the port for good, and food production declined. Extreme storms forced coastal erosion and flooding began in 1286 when a huge storm swept much of the settlement into the sea and silted up the Dunwich River. This storm was followed by a succession of others that silted up the harbor and squeezed the economic life out of the town, leading to its eventual demise as a major international port in the 15th century. Global climate change has made coastal erosion a topical issue in the 21st century, but Dunwich demonstrates that it has happened before, explained Professor Sear. The severe storms of the 13th and 14th centuries coincided with a period of climate change, turning the warmer medieval climatic optimum into what we call the Little Ice Age. He said at the time of the original scan that it is a sobering example of the relentless force of nature on our island coastline. It starkly demonstrates how rapidly the coast can change, even when protected by its inhabitants. Professor Sear worked with a team from the university's Geodata Institute, the National Oceanography Center, Southampton, Wessex Archaeology, and local divers from North Sea Recovery and Learn Scuba. The group has found six additional ruins on the seabed and 74 potential archaeological sites on the seafloor since the project started in 2008. Combining all known archaeological data from the site, together with old charts and navigation guides to the coast, they were also able to produce a detailed map of the street layout and position of buildings, including the town's eight churches.